year is filmed before a live studio audience. We really planned it. We just uh, all went out at the same time and decided to grab hands, and there we were in this four-leaf clover formation. <laughs> we were kind of like the June Taylor dancers out there. <laughs> It's kind of a male bonding thing to give yourself a nickname. Well, I applaud your bravery, but I must say I thought we'd advance beyond the notion that a real man risks his life in pointless confrontations with death. I thought we pretty much accepted that a real man is someone who makes gobs and gobs of money. <laughs> like me. <laughs> well, see you later, sisters. You know something? I, I just had this wild idea. Do you think you guys could jump out of an airplane holding a large banner that said cheers? For any particular reason? Well, I was just thinking one of the comments I got in the suggestion box that said you have a really great bar here, but why keep it a secret? Why don't you publicize more? Well, we could have a cameraman shoot it, maybe even get it on the news. Ooh, hold on a second here. You're talking about taking a pure sport such as skydiving and tainting it for commercial gain? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, a thing like that could have a tremendous impact. Hey, so could I. <laughs> Sam, phone for you. It's Judy. Judy? Hi. Well, of course I remember you. You're kidding me. Well, it's just around the corner. Listen, why don't you come on over? We can replay all the old memories. <laughs> all right. Judy who? <laughs> She didn't say, Sam. How many Judys have you dated? Well, let's see. There was uh, Judy Johnson, right? The uh, tall, redhead, remember? She had freckles, gray legs. Yeah, oh, yeah. There's uh, Judy uh, Patinsky. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Judy Chang, who... Uh... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. How come you guys remember my love life better than I do? Well, I think it meant more to us, Sammy. Sammy, door number two. Hey, Lori, what'd you do? Forget something? Well, my class was canceled, so I was gonna find Mom and see if she wanted to grab some lunch, but I guess she already left, huh? Yeah, just a few minutes ago. Oh, well, it's no biggie. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen, uh, if you have a couple of minutes on your hand here. I I'm about due for a break, aren't I, Rebecca? Hell yes, you've been back at work for almost five minutes. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a hoot if your uncle took you back to the same zoo, but 15 years later? How about it, guys? Would that be a hoot or what? <laughs> Uncle Sammy, you're too much. I'll go bring the car around. Great. I'll, uh, I'll meet you up there, okay? Just a minute. Zoos are kind of sad, you know? Huh. I mean, all those sedentary animals can't move, can't run free. They just uh, sit there and drink and shovel food in their faces. <laughs> Sorry, man, there's no kind of life. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Hey, Mr. Peterson, there's a cold one waiting for you. I know. And if she calls, I'm not here. <laughs> You're just a man I want to see here. Listen, I want you to taste this Bloody Mary for me. No, please, Sammy. Not again. We did this all day yesterday. And we're going to do it all day today until we get this right. Now, listen up, everybody. I am not losing the Bloody Mary contest to Gary's Old Town Tavern again. Now, please. I got Rebecca out there. I got Carla out there. They all got their little jobs. The least you can do is taste this for me. All right, all right. There you go. Huh? What do you think? Not bad, Sammy. Huh? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a little thick, but uh, uh -huh. all in all, I'd have to say... <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, okay, I get the point, man. It's very no, funny. No, no, actually, I rather like that one. <laughs> Sam, guess what I've got under my coat? I can guess right. Can I keep them? <laughs> no, you idiot. I've got some of Gary's top secret Bloody Mary mix. Hey, oh, way to go, oh, Rebecca. Baby, how yeah. did you get it? How do you think I got it? <laughs> you did that dorky twirl, and when he laughed, you grabbed it and ran. <laughs> okay, fine. Forget it. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, come on. We won't make fun of you. Oh. All right. That thing Carla said. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm the one that got it. Oh, well, no, it's good, it's good. Now I'm going to take it down to the company pharmaceutical division and have it analyzed to find out Gary's secret ingredient. No, no, no need to do that, Rebecca. Sammy, pour me a shot of that concoction. I'll take exactly what's in it. Oh, man, I don't know. Yeah, I got very sensitive taste buds. As a matter of fact, in medieval times, Clavens were the royal tasters. I heard they were royal something. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know what's in it, but uh, Gary makes the best Bloody Mary I've ever tasted. <laughs> All right, Sammy, send me up a shot of that, huh? Hey, hey, you guys, don't drink it all. I have to take some to the lab. This is great. Gary deserves to win this contest every year. It's almost worth cramming myself into this dress. Hey, I dress up as a hooker to get some of this stuff. <laughs> Thanks again for a wonderful evening, Woody. You introduced me to a whole new world. Yeah, it's hard to believe a girl like you's never been to a monster truck and tractor pull before. <laughs> oh, Woody, on the first date, how are you going to top that, buddy? Well, there's no need to top it. Uh, it's a one-shot deal. What, what do you mean? What? Well, I mean, the only reason she went out with me was to make a point with her boyfriend. Oh, it was, man. How do you know that? Because she told me. I mean, it only seems fair. The only reason I went out with her was to get revenge at her boyfriend. At least that's what I told her. <laughs> Woody, that is beautiful. That's the kind of honesty that's going to keep you out of marriage. <laughs> For a painting, you saw our ad in the phone book first. Could you hold just a minute? Somebody wants to paint something. <laughs> Hello. This is Norm Peterson. <clears throat> Can we help you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, sir. I think, uh, I think we can handle that. Yes, thank you very much. And I'd like to thank you for making foray painting your foray into painting. Well? Well, we have a job. Yeah. Oh. A development company has a small apartment complex, okay? They're having a contract problem with their regular crew, so we're up. Oh, yeah. it's happening. Well, it's just a little eightplex, okay? Now, don't get crazy. Norm, Ray Kroc started McDonald's with one little hamburger. Uh -huh. Colonel Stander started with one little chicken. We are on our way to the top, mister. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel like having a Big Mac and a bucket of wings, actually. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> Mr. Anawalt, I have something else to say, and this is it. You wouldn't know a good marketing executive if one came up and bit you on the butt. <laughs> now, I am better and smarter than 50% of the people that work here. And if you can't see that, then you are blind or a buffoon. Take your pick. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. I have to get back to Cheers, where I am sure all my personal belongings will be waiting for me in a hefty bag on the street. Miss Howe. What do you want now? I have a lot of nerve talking to me like that. This company was built on nerve. Not enough young people have the guts to stand up and say what they're really thinking. I've been looking for that brave child who wouldn't be afraid to say, the emperor has no clothes. He's nude, sir. <laughs> Make it. You think you can handle a triple raise in salary? Oh, yes, sir. Do you think you can handle an executive position with my marketing team? Yes, sir. Think you can start Monday? Yes, sir. Welcome aboard. Oh, yes, sir. Sir, this, this is a dream come true for me. Yes? FBI. Mr. Anwalt, you're under arrest. <laughs> What's the charge? Insider trading. Let's go. Take him downtown. No. He has rights. You have the right to remain Those files. Down. You can't do this. This man is innocent. No, they have me dead to rights. <laughs> oh, Mr. Anwalt. Mr. Anwalt. I'll wait for you, sir. I'll be standing right here waiting for you. I think I am the unluckiest person on earth.